Saturday, 6th of May, King Charles Coronation Day, and a good day to go flying. Look at this, this cloud has developed in the last 45 minutes. It's really looking good. So I think I'm gonna have a good day today. Uh, I'm not sure what my plan's gonna be, I think. Maybe head up to Toowoomba that way, and maybe uh, Darling Downs Club. We'll see how we get on. So it's quite low cloud base. Uh, it's at uh, about 3.7 and uh, quite weak thermals. Um, but hopefully uh, it's going to get better. It certainly looks like it's going to be a good day. It's just a case of staying up uh, and waiting for it to kick off. Um, I can't see Andres, he's just launched after me. I did a launch from the bitumen. Um, that beautiful smooth launch, I'm, I'm going to be doing that a lot more often. It's just uh, so much better, much more in control than uh, launching on the really rough grass that we've got. So, there's a view out to the west. One knot thermal. Going to two now. Okay, that's not too bad. So I might try and track over a bit further uh, towards the range. The clouds are looking a lot better over that way, uh, a bit more organised. Well, let's see how we get up. Well, I've been scratching around the airfield uh, for more than half an hour, really just above circuit height, and couldn't connect with anything and uh, I think now the day is starting to shape up because uh, we've got this nice uh, three to four knot climb and uh, I'm just going through 4,000 foot now so uh, I think I should have enough to head up at least to Clifton so uh, we'll give Clifton a go and uh, see how we get on from there Hopefully cloud base uh, lifts a bit more. Should be good. And, uh, so this is the view on the range. And uh, oh, I've forgotten the sky echo. No, oh, well. it's always something you're forgetting. That no worries. Still got a flam, so. So uh, now well, let's have a look at that cloud or this one. I think I'll keep working this cloud and get a bit high before I push off. Just going through fourthly now. Put it over a bit more. Oh, nice. Oh, this is a beauty. Speed down a bit. Saying three and a half knots on the average here. Well, oh, sweet. Best climb so far. So I'm just trucking to the uh, west of Clifton, which is just coming up on my nose now. And uh, yeah, the day's really started to turn on. I've had between four or five knots in some of the climbs, which is really nice. And uh, looking west, it's looking okay. And looking north too, so I better get a move on. Um, I've got uh, Pittsworth keyed in, and I've just about got glide there, so uh, I'd. Uh, I'll keep moving on. Andres is somewhere around here, I'm not sure where. Oh, let's go with this one. Yeah, come on. No. Ah, I lost it. is 
Down that way, Leslie down in the distance there. Wind farms on the horizon just uh, short. Of it. And they're starting to put the blades on now, so uh, it won't be too long before it's finished. There's a bit of uh, smoke rising in the forest over there. Okay, right, now I'll just switch off and concentrate on this. So I just passed Pittsworth. Uh, the plan was a little to the northwest, so maybe track towards Darling Downs Club. Um, the clouds aren't as good and well formed as further south around Warwick. This is quite nice to have been clouds, so I'm going to take this one. And then, and then decide what to do. Um, yeah, it says welcome. Um, I'm in the broadcast zone for welcome. So just keeping an eye on what, what the, the traffic is. Now this this cloud should work if it's nice and dark. I'm still going through the sink at the moment. Um, wind is now it's actually turning southwesterly, and it was uh, northwesterly on the way up. So uh, I'm not sure what's happening. Hello, um, starting to get into lift. Here we go. This. Try and find the core, and that's north. So not as good as over to the east. You can see there, it's looking far better uh, south and on the range actually. So what I might do is uh, take this climb and then have a thought about whether to go further north or not or whether just to go south towards Kalani, which is that direction. And uh, there's the Hitsworth Solar Farm just on my nose there. And, uh, cracking day, beauty. Yeah, I'm not so sure about too much further north. I think I'll take a uh, climb to Cow Base and then uh, turn and head to Kalani. So, small change of plan, I am going to go to Darling Downs Club. It's straight ahead, 27 kilometers on the nose. Nice cloud on the way. Um, so, uh, got quite safe height for gliding to uh, Darling Downs Club. Or maybe even back to Pittsworth if I needed it. But that's the cloud that I'm looking uh, ahead. Um, I'll just maybe dolphin fly through this bit of lift here, no point hanging around, and uh, just about five and a half thousand foot now, so it's pretty good, pretty nice height. <laughs> well, looking good. Toowoomba uh, on the wing tip there. Uh, here's the lift that's under this cloud. It's not that. Wrong. Did have a six knotter before this one. Um, yeah, 25 to run to Darling Downs Club. Straight on the nose. So, um, turning and heading south now. Uh, got comfortable glide back into Pittsworth if I needed it, which is just slightly on the right there. I'm going to head to this. Uh, cloud here, it looks, looks pretty good. Uh, they're thinning out a bit and um, I think it's a good idea to head closer to home now. I can always uh, extend the flight <coughs> by pushing to the Kalani uh, when I get back to uh, 6,000 foot. Nice safe height. Speed locks there below. Industrial agriculture. And, uh, there's Oki. It's 
so yeah, keep, uh, see the outside temperature is 10 degrees. So we've got a nice climb uh, here uh, just at Pittsworth. It's uh, about four knots and a uh, cloud here forming. But there's a cloud behind me as well. So I'm just gonna take this. I've just about got glide back to work. And you can see the Warmer in the distance there, and uh, interesting looking clouds in the distance. Nice big fat juicy ones. Mm. Yeah, four knots. Four, now going through five. Nice, beautiful, nice and smooth. And just going through 5,700. Enough to get me home. So it was quite a nice run up to uh, Darling Downs Soaring Club. Um, I think the distance will be something like 220 kilometres when I've finished. So not too bad really. Uh, okay, here we go. Right, get around. Five knots. Well, it's a uh, quarter to three now, and uh, I'm just to the north of Clifton. And uh, yeah, the sort of days starting to peter out, but the, there is some nice lift under these uh, wispy bits. Uh, beautiful looking light, and now you can really see the relief of the. Uh, the range and oh hello let me go with that one is that a six knotter it is oh where did that come from seven knots oh is it gonna go to eight it is eight knots bloody hell out of nowhere beautiful really smooth today the thermals and uh, once you get into the core then uh, you just go up like a rocket really nice so I'm going to use this height to uh, push out to the range and maybe <coughs> go a bit further south Walker listen to that settled as a six knotter at the moment this cloud here decided to call it a day and coming in just over the solar farm here outside Warwick Fairfield's dead ahead uh, got gliding and yeah I think the day is probably oh look at this cloud, cloud here probably see if there's anything under that uh, but I'll might as well just head straight in uh, wind is four knots nice and light so uh, I don't have to worry about pitching into the headwind yeah see there's that thermal now uh, should I take it uh, why not then down in He's ahead of me and about uh, 500 foot lower. And I'll track to the west, I think, and uh, join downwind from up there. See what Dan does. Oh, it looks as if we've got something there. Gaining height. I feel dead ahead. So, we can call it a day. So, perfect landing. Smooth as. Just slight breeze. And there's PW5 just landed. That's Cirrus 
pushed in. I think there's going to be more of that tomorrow. So I think today is the best day of the weekend. You can see 